Hey guys, Kira here coming to you live for this week's message. You know, this week I want to talk about how we can upgrade our network in a remote world. And why this is so important is that it's been really hard during this pandemic, right, during 2020, to really get into new rooms, to expand our network, our sphere of influence, to get around different people or, frankly, people in general, because we've been so socially distanced. So I want to give a couple of tips on how I've been trying to proactively grow my network upgrade my network, get into different rooms, different groups, different spheres of influence to really advance my career and my goals. So as, as hard as this has been, right, there are a couple of things we can do. Meaning, one is online events are a big way for you to connect with great people, influencers, thought leaders, entrepreneurs, and other people doing some great things in their respective businesses. There's a lot of master classes, webinars, group trainings, multi-day events, same-day events that are really happening by creative people that are putting these on and not letting the pandemic hold them back. So I'd recommend getting involved in these, enrolling in some of these, you know, leaning into these and making sure that you follow the people that are attending, you send them direct private messages, you see where they might fit in to your plans, where you can help them with their goals, and you reach out and create meaningful connections. One strategy there. The next is be active on social media. And don't just be a consumer of social media content, but be a creator, right? And a great way to be a creator and also a consumer in two equally productive ways is by utilizing this new platform and app that's got a lot of buzz right now that everybody's talking about, which is called Clubhouse. If you don't know about Clubhouse, check it out. Get onto it, it's a really cool tool it's kind of like podcasting meets, you know, um, not really Instagram, but more co um, connection, right? Mini meets like LinkedIn meets small group meetups. It's hard to describe it, right? But it's actually a really cool platform that allows stages, rooms, and discussions to happen in real time with several different speakers, moderators, and guests. It's a really, really cool app. I love the platform. I've been on it for maybe a month now, a month and a half, more than a ton. Um, being a speaker and contributor, but also a listener of a lot of rooms with a lot of big names, big influencers, big leaders, big entrepreneurs in multifaceted spaces and practices have been in this, been starting groups, and it's been actually really, really cool. So if you're not on Clubhouse, get on Clubhouse. Make sure you're diligent and intentional about who you're following, right? Don't have too many followers, or sorry, don't be following too many people because you'll be getting too many pings and your feed will just blow up. Try to curate and experience. Be intentional about what rooms and people you're following to really have the right content around you, to be connected with the right people that will help you advance. So Clubhouse is another. And the third is simply expand your network with the people that you're already connected to and try to add one more degree of separation away from that, right? Expand one more degree out. So by that is, you know, what I mean by that is reaching out to uh, friends, colleagues, family members, and ask them by looking and doing some research ahead of time, whether on LinkedIn, Facebook, elsewhere, other people that they might be connected to that you would like to meet. Whether it's a business owner, a thought leader, somebody who's doing something cool, working on a similar project in the same niche or industry you're in. Just a way to create a not so cold outreach, right? A time where you can set up a call just to connect, talk to see if there's ways you might be able to support each other, collaborate or make introductions as well. So those are just three ways that you can really upgrade your network, the room you're in, and your results and effectiveness as you grow. Because here, remember, you probably heard this, I didn't author it, I think Tony Robbins may have, but you know, you're the average really of the five people you spend the most time with, and so is your bank account. I'm a huge believer in this. So we have to simply upgrade the rooms that we're in, right? The people, the network, those that we're around, so that that can help pull our average up and help us grow and stretch and lean into our goals and our vision. So hopefully this is a uh, value and helped you in some way, guys. If it was, leave me a comment or a like. As always, love to hear uh, from you and love to support you each and every week with a little bit of content, things that I'm seeing that are really working and impactful and effective in my life and business and sharing them with you. So as always, to your success, your happiness, and your freedom, we'll talk to you next week.